We're never gonna use that on the show. That's not for us. Oh, no! Idiot. No. Come on. Up your game. Oh, no! Nobody cares about produce. You know what, send me that link. This is a candle and this is flash one. Here we go. Did that limey kid say flash cotton? You mean to tell me there's an extremely flammable substance that I have not gotten to play with yet? <laughs> Unacceptable. Guys, flash cotton's here. What is it? <laughs> what is it? You're gonna feel what it is. I think you sat in some. Yeah. You know what make this dry faster? <laughs> All right, you guys keep working. I'm gonna get rid of this helicopter so our enemies can't steal our stealth technology. Thanks for the joint, Daniel. <laughs> it's scary, isn't it? Somebody go grab my lucky wooden dick. The problem with baked potatoes is nobody has 11 minutes to microwave them. <laughs> it's ready! Guys, it's our constitutional right to be able to burn the flag. And thanks to flash cotton, we can do it much quicker, so it's way less disrespectful. All right, somebody bring me the AIDS quilt. Okay, it's time for the wave. What's the worst that could happen? of burnt pubes in our writer's room was slightly more intense than usual that day. He did the trick, now give him the mackerel. What kind of weird fat guy instincts made his arms do that? Leave his body there as a warning to the other walrus people. Those were tough mudder races where crossfitters take a day off from their cult to play in the mud. I'd love my staff to get some exercise, but mud is dirty and I don't want them tracking into our office. Besides, if you want to motivate the lard asses that work for me, you gotta go pure butter. It is I, the Imperial Butter King. Welcome. Yeah. Silence. Let the 2015 Tough Butter begin. I do not have enough butter. Beat the course record. I dare you. Hurry. There's no margarine for air. Don't spread yourself too thin. Feel the churn. This is butter chaos. There are easier ways to get a pat on the back. Butter. You know where your bread is buttered. It's a salt and buttery. Time. I will see you all next year at another butter. That whole bit was based on a pun. Nailed it. <laughs> I went all out and forced my staff to pound bananas and Sprite while riding the most unsafe carnival scrambler ride that I could rent for under five grand, not including cleanup. And this week's web regurgitation. <laughs> step right up, step right up. Let's toss your bile and Tosh.0 style on the hurl of world. The only ride where concessions are mandatory. Let's get your ticket here. Ooh, we got a pregnant lady. Enjoy the ride, youngster. Did everybody visit the Bananas and Sprite stand? 
All righty, kids, you wait your turn. How far along are you? I don't care. Let's get you in there. 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 That should be good. Oh, this is going to be delightful. All right, the ride doesn't stop till everyone pops. The first one to blow. All right, you get it. Eat your bananas. We're going to all throw up. Oh, we're going to have a banana. And now it's time to obey your thirst. This is only level one. Let's kick it up to the adult setting. Free refills. Oh. We got a puker, everyone. We got a puker. One more time! Okay, there we go, my friend. Good job, good job. Let me get your safety. There you go. Okay, well, I thought you were taking a header. <laughs> That's fine. That was so fun, but remember, you should absolutely not film yourself doing the Sprite Banana Challenge at amusement parks this summer. That would be totally irresponsible. <laughs>
and dance their heart out for one minute. Now, there's one writer who gets particularly upset whenever he has to do this, and for good reason. He appears to have scoliosis, or rickets. Possibly both. Who wrote, my God, right in the head? That was me. All right, that's not even a joke. I get on the table. Three, two, one. I am sure you all agree that was painful. I felt so bad for him and his family that I hired a new writer named Chris just to help him get his groove back. No, <laughs> I'm sorry, you know the rules. F you, that was funny. <laughs>old lady with the camel toe as Joanna. And she is the genius behind the world's only horse-inspired workout, Prancer Size LLC. <laughs>
Okay, my staff will eat anything if you set it out on a nice plate. Everyone's eyeballing it. She wants to make sure it's gluten free. That guy's favorite cookie in the world is a Fig Newton. You think someone like that would be impressed by dog food? But nope, he immediately spits it out. That's one of our editors. He's just chewing it, he's processing it. This guy went down on Brie Olson. You think he could handle this? Nope, and that's coming out. Then there's Ricky. Oh, Rick. I hate to do this to you, Ricky. But he's taking a bite of it, and he's like, oh, that's not bad. Let me try another bite. Let me get one more of those. I, mean, I like that he shakes his head here before he has a third. That's his third dog treat. His coat is going to look amazing. When I discovered this website called Momentary Ink that makes extremely realistic custom temporary tattoos, I decided to toughen up the dorks on my staff with some sick neck tats. All right, Eddie, since you like the most boring ass basketball team, I got you the most boring ass tattoo. Pretty badass. Swoosh! Tim Duncan bank shot. It's hard to embarrass a man who already has a cassette tape permanently tattooed to their arm and goes to Coachella every single year, but I think this did the trick. What we went with is a neck tat of the lyrics of Smash Mouse hit from the movie Shrek All-Star. Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go hey. You two rednecks went to the University of Alabama, so I'm sure you're gonna appreciate these. Auburn tattoos. Get a good shot of those for your stupid message boards, you cousin fucking hillbillies. War Eagle! War Eagle! <laughs> you still feeling the burn, Charlie? Good luck explaining that to your liberal Hollywood friends. All right, now it's my turn. Remember, I love the dolphin surfing and chocolate chip cookies. Please be respectful. A dick choker, dick and pubes, tribal dick on my head. I love it. I love it. Sauce point oh till we fucking die. Nothing a lot of gasoline and steel wool couldn't scrub off. <laughs> I prefer traditional porn, but in a pinch, sorry recruitment videos will do. Sorties all across the country are making these because like any business, they have to trick new customers into wasting money. And what is higher education without blowing glitter, laughing in slow motion, and jumping in slow motion? But what happens when sorority life ends? I want those barely legal smoking hot chicks to know they'll always have a home here at Tosh.0. So while you're waiting to get snatched up by a wealthy husband, why not move to LA and work for me?
I'm out of tape. I need more tape. <laughs> HR said I couldn't use staples. Fidget spinners. I think we can all agree there's absolutely nothing annoying about them, and they will definitely stand the test of time. I don't know why schools and workplaces are banning them. They are scientifically proven to increase productivity. In fact, I've started teaching a fidget spin class at my office. Find your fucking fidget. One, two, one, two, spin. Tilt it left, tilt it right. I know you feel like you're gonna die, but don't you also feel like you're gonna live? Double time, double spin. Sign up for my class, it fills up early because I play great music and boy do we sweat. <laughs> There's finally a website I can wrap my stupid head around. It's called somethingstore.com. And here's how it works. You send them $10 and they send you something. <laughs> so naturally I sent them 200 bucks. According to my calculations, that's around two million. I don't, I'm not good at math. I have no idea what's in any of these. either be a billionaire or in jail by tomorrow morning. <laughs> Finally, my Jewish viewers will get to know what Christmas really feels like. Excitement, then disappointment, followed by jealousy. 